Hello and welcome back to the Hard West. We are playing the scenario two and we left off with our uh, scientist who just got assigned uh, who just got assigned the work of a former colleague and he's still trying to make sense of all of uh, the things happening. He apparently is accompanied by three similar stooges that uh, have a remarkable let's say similarity to to the devil that we've met in the other scenario so i assume it's going to mean uh, the devil has kind of an intriguing uh, setup uh, uh, setup here um, going and i don't know the last time that we've uh, that we've left off was when we were investigating the church so the church has been refitted to function as an asylum the old man has told him of this place. Solomon approaches the Asylum and the guns get ready. Solomon approaches the Asylum to the east, heading for the main entrance. Well, I suppose sometimes violence is the only way out in the Wild West. And that's exactly where we are now uh, uh, going to enter. Um, we built the noise bombs the last time, uh, which seem to be kind of a setup item. Loud bangs virtually the only thing that an enemy can focus on. This decreases the aim and defense for everyone in the radius. I think that's interesting. I guess we want to use that. Maybe we're putting this on Solomon. We still got a blueprint. That's fine. We got a couple of healing elixirs. That's also fine. Um, as for the cards, one of the devil devilish apprentices is our sniper. He has all of the tens. And Solomon has almost all of the other cards. We got a new one, the King of Diamonds, um, which allows us to sense nearby enemies and get plus four sight. And there's really no way, uh, no reason why we should put that on Solomon. So he got a little bit more sight now. Wonderful. And we're still missing boots. All of them apparently seem to be uh, seem to neglect using boots. Let's take a look at the stats for a second. I mean, movement is clearly how far you can move. And Solomon has the bonus uh, because he has a pair of, I think, queens, yeah? Aim is the base chance of aiming. That's modified by the, by the distance of your weapon. Every weapon has a sweet spot. Defense is um, as much as you detract from an enemy aim uh, by just standing there. So that's that, that kind of is a safekeeper for your luck because whenever you are getting shot at, as you know by now, it detracts from your luck. And then sight is really the distance that you can see. 27 um, is the normal uh, sight, uh, sight uh, distance that you know from XCOM. So it's very similar here. Let's take a look at the items because I haven't looked at all of them. Mandrake root, the root is uh, of a medical plant, provides immediate luck bonus. Okay, and we got again the loud bang. Then we got coca leaves, greatly improve movement. I'm pretty sure we don't need that. Um, but we uh, could use the greatly improve aim because he's our sniper. And... A bit of tobacco never really hurts. We can give him a healing elixir as well. I usually uh, found that most of uh, the scenarios don't even require you to use many of uh, the consumables. Maybe it's just the way that I'm playing the game at the moment, but it, the scenarios seem to be pretty easy. Um, increases maximum hit points. I think that's a, that's a good idea. And with that, our three stooges are correctly uh, outfitted. You see that the stooge with the highest aim and the lowest movement is the sniper. Well, I was incorrect. This guy here has even a lower movement. Actually, this guy has the highest movement and the highest aim. Well, anyways, he's just a slow guy. Do we have anything which greatly improves movement? Nope. We would have boots, but they seem to be not available for now. 
We might want to buy some once we got to get some gold. So searching for information about the Plague of Madness, Solomon and the per, uh, persons, this, these are the three stooges, arrived at an old church that had been converted into a mental asylum. It didn't take long for the inmates to uh, Marty, however, with the staff gone, it has uh, descended into a chaotic, lawless mass. The church was now a makeshift asylum, but it appeared the inmates had taken over. <laughs> the bad men guarding the doors all wore deputy badges that read Turner. Delir wondered where Gilmer's office had been. Probably upstairs, he grumbled. Only Delir knew how to identify the files. He would need to go there personally. Okay, so Solomon Delir must survive and have Solomon acquire all notes, remaining three. Well, that's great. So I suppose we need to search a little bit. So one thing that I learned about the game so far is there is a... oh, nice. We have the notes up here. It even shows you where the notes are, so you don't need to guess. So, one thing that I learned about the game so far is, if I could give an, any sort of hint, then it would probably be the, the game just doesn't like you to stand in open in open ground. Cover is probably even more important than in XCOM because as long as you're not flanked you're just taking neglectable damage. Um, and with that said we directly see one of the guys. You can see the shadow here by the way. Interestingly enough the game already tells you that there is a, a shadow. Um, so let's take one of the persons here and again, take full cover. I am aware that there could be a flank over here, so what I usually want to do is um, making sure that we kind of have a line um, uh, going to to make sure that the uh, that no one can appear from the side because like just standing here would uh, currently mean we're in, in a bit of a trouble uh, troublesome situation. We see two um, inmates apparently. Yeah, uh, casually strolling around here. Um, this guy has no cover, so might as well finish him off immediately. Schizophrenic madman was killed. We saw another woman, apparently in full cover. Um, I'd like to put an. Uh, I'd like to put maybe one of the stooges over here. To be honest. Mainly because I feel these uh, we need to f uh, need to very soon cover the flank here to make sure that no one's coming from this side. So maybe we'll even take Solomon. This here is a really really good position. It allows us to uh, to to take a uh, to take a solid cover into this direction but it also has cover uh, towards the upper side. So if anyone comes over, uh, over uh, during, uh, if anyone like tries to flank us this way, we would definitely have Solomon here as a defender. Okay. I would say a similar, a similar argument could be made for the other side. And therefore, we're going to slowly but surely kind of approach also from this side. I just don't want to be flanked. That's it, pretty much. Um, as for the woman, might as well take the golden bullet. Um, okay, who did we just kill? I was under the impression we just killed that woman, but apparently we killed some dude over here. Gosh, interesting. Alright, so it would be tempting to go in, 
kind of to the door and deal with that lady. But that would be a mistake in my uh, in my book. We slowly but surely need to advance. And one of the things for the slow advance is to cover the flanks. Again, not moving here because that uh, could mean a flanking position. This is, a, uh, this is an actual uh, powerhouse position, very, very high cover. And we can start getting into a flank uh, over here. Uh, in order to go there, let's just shortly move to the other side of the window. So next turn we can uh, move there. I'm just keeping, uh, keeping the uh, fields of fire open to, uh, to assault her there. As uh, as for Solomon, I've just found out that there is a guy over here. Need to be a bit, a bit careful. Again, shifting our flanks a bit uh, here. I would want to go to this position. There is no window, but someone could move up here and flank us. So that's not the best position, to be honest. Half cover, again, dangerous. No, I think we're going to keep it the way it is currently. Maybe, I do have an idea. How about, we're going for this half cover. And we're actually moving up. Again, keeping the line uh, somewhat stable. And we need to make sure that our left uh, flank is being covered. Reloading, unfortunately we don't have the overwatch function. Solomon is fine so far. There's also no hunker down. That would be a great feature. So let's end the turn and see what the enemies are doing. See, this guy has been has been moving here. I'm pretty sure we are not crossing line of fire for him. I'm moving to here. It, we. That was successful. Moving here would be dangerous because that would be in his five field range. Solomon is now in a very good spot, full cover. No one comes, uh, no one is approaching from the other side. Uh, we haven't heard anything back from this lady, so might as well start to approach uh, from the corner. Soon our golden bullet is up again. This guy could move to here in one turn, so we need to be careful. What I'm going to do is I'm trading high uh, high cover. We're going to have the exact same line line here, just making sure we have a this uh, this side covered in case there are one or two um, thugs uh, turning up here, and that's it. I know it's probably a very defensive uh, playstyle, but since I don't know the uh, scenario at all, and I don't, I don't want to end up um, uh, missing it out again, I prefer to rather play it safe for now. Solomon uses his six shooter, three shots, no cover. Let's go, baby. I was honestly expecting that he would flail that guy moving here to support his buddy there we go we know there is another threat coming up but that's fine it would be too risky to move to here because we don't know if the female thug is still standing here and I don't want to just take a, a shot for uh, just to move there 
she would be standing around the corner. I, I don't know the game mechanics well enough yet. I think if we're moving here, we would see her if she's standing right around the corner. So I think it's safe, actually. Let's try that. Okay, as long as no one approaches here and flanks us, we should be okay for now. I'm wondering where she's been, uh, where she has gone, because she was kind of taking cover here, which is a great spot. It's kind of covered uh, in either full cover or half cover into three out of four directions. I'm just not sure where she has gone to. We're seeing this gentleman, by the way. Let's move over here and take advantage of his exposed position. That's only four and not five damage. Ah, I wish his gun would deal more damage. No, that's only three. Well, he's down to one H uh, one HP and has taken a pretty bad position, to be honest. Again, cover is, uh, is the key, and if you can rotate your uh, your squad in a better uh, in a better way uh, than the enemy can, you're going to outmaneuver them anytime. Like he took a uh, he he took a very uh, a very exposed position, only had full cover from one side. We're seeing this guy uh, or this gal here, and I'm wondering if we can. Well, maybe by using uh, by using by using the bell here, I'm wondering if we can actually use the sniper shot uh, with a ricochet to hit her. Let me try this. Uh, the bell is on the ground floor. I was thinking whether or not maybe the bell is like on the uh, on the high ground. No, everything's on the ground floor. Unfortunate. But we can slowly but surely start to move up, I suppose. Taking cover inside of the house? Yeah, I knew that she was still there. We don't. We don't um, have any um, means of ricocheting uh, from this position because Solomon doesn't have the skill. I would like to try the noise bomb, to be honest. I'm not sure though if that's actually going to hit him. Let's give it a try. I really just want to try the item and see if it's any good. sure what the item uh, did it's uh, I know what it is supposed to do which is actually making sure that um, that the enemy just attack uh, uh, takes a malus to attack but she was just coming up here I don't know so we are reloading I figured that might happen, but that's not a problem. 
because that's exactly why I said that rotation um, is so important. Rotating him over. And taking that shot was very, very important. Again, this nun here has been hiding out. I'm wondering if we can ricochet her. Yeah, that might be a thing. Here we go. Nice. Very nice shot. We're advancing just to take a better shooting angle. And since we can't do anything else, let's just reload. We're reloading, and I think we can even kill this guy. Yeah, there we go. There is still another person inside here. I don't want to move up to here yet because that's too dangerous. And we're, I mean, that would be a good uh, good start to to actually uh, take a great uh, flank here. My problem is I'm not sure if the courtyard is clear yet. So I'm torn in between really moving to here and taking an aggressive move and just yeah leaving it as it is for now. Maybe if we could. Maybe if we could move all around this area to make sure that there is no one flanking our side, that would be helpful. And all of this here is unfortunately half cover. We're down to 26 luck, so the next shot is going to hit us, uh, which means we're just going to reload for now. And I probably would like to stay where, where we are, just to have that option to go up to here and take a flanking shot. Alright, this turn um, is all about moving up, getting back into full cover here, having really two people on this side. Moving up further to make sure we have the flanks covered. And that gives us an opening because now we can see that all of this here is clear. That gives us an opening to actually move in. There we go. I think I I don't know I mean stay away from uh, out of here again I don't want to be flanked but I think we're fine if if we're uh, if we would be moving up to here oh that was a mistake buddy Reloading, and we're slowly but surely kind of circling around the house. 
Okay, moving up. Solomon, can he sense enemies? Well, I haven't seen him sensing anyone. So all of the full cover is somewhat gone. The question that I'm asking myself is where do we want to enter the house? There is a second um, option to enter kind of the upper floor here. And there's one downstairs here. Okay, so I guess what we would want to do is we'd like to move over and enter the house over here. know if we have any enemies remaining the enemy turn seems to be artificially short again let's just move up on this side we can reload in the meantime Okay, another character other than Solomon goes in, just to make sure that we haven't missed anyone. Okay. It would really suck if they have positioned someone here. Probably I'm just chasing a ghost at this point. Not sure if there's even an enemy left. I think there is no enemy left. Solomon moves over. Yeah, we're we're fine. Come on, Solomon. Grab the documents. Delir searched the room and found documents bearing Trumer Cliff's insignia. Move Solomon to the safe zone. Oh, so we're going to be ambushed again? Now 
That's interesting. I haven't seen a single enemy. I don't know why the game is making such a big fuss out of effectively moving him to the uh, to the safe zone I don't know I probably I'm missing something or the game usually doesn't expect you to kill all of them I mean, there's quite literally no enemy here. <laughs> okay, I didn't get the second part. Like, why wouldn't the mission just stop after you got the documents? Solomon Dallaire and the person set out to confront the plague madness overtaking the land. We were successful in the second mission. Solomon leaped into his steam carriage, hotly pursued by Turner's men. I haven't seen that happening. Turner's men actually were all dead. It was the same bunch of lunatics that had been in the laboratory when they first arrived. He was horrified by their ferocity. Clearly, they uh, thought of themselves as lawmen. Between their lack of fear, Turner's leadership, in their sheer numbers, they had rapidly dominated the region. He hoped the documents from the asylum would shed some light on the madness and its source. Go to the laboratory and analyze the data. Okay, cool. Uh, we are going to do that. Solomon remained in Termocliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it uh, his own now, starting the research. Um, I think I want to understand the data first. The document displayed a clear pattern. When patients entered the asylum, they typically got better and went back home. There, their symptoms inevitably worsened and they would return worse off than ever before. The same effect seems to happen to Termacliff himself. The process was highly unusual. Father Gilmore de uh, determined to find out um, if there was other areas affected by the plague in other parts of the country. Okay. Well, before we go to the station, let's continue our... I think we did engineering research. Solomon made his second break through an engineering he had the feeling the third would yield the pa uh, the patients for nail bombs and the ocular. Well, there we go. Solomon invented and patient the nail bombs and the ocular. I think we have... Oh. Solomon invented the bulletproof vest. Ooh, okay. And we're missing blueprints. Okay. Fair enough. So we got the ocular, which oh nice. So that's a uh, that's a well not a trinket slot like a slot for the uh, for the feet, and it allows you to get ten aim and four side. I really appreciate that. And the bulletproof vest has plus five defense and plus two maximum HP. I don't even know which one is better, but I absolutely love both of the items. And since no one has um, 
since no one has really anything on their feet at the moment might as well uh, take the bulletproof vest I think oh no we're not going to take 999 I think we're going to take three bulletproof vests and one ocular I like the ocular for the sniper you know what let's take two oculars and and two bulletproof vests I think that's a good trade-off do we have anything of value other than cash no and apparently in this scenario we also don't need too much cash so let's just start with that as for the loadout i think we might want to start with um Clearly our main character, Solomon, who's not supposed to die, should take the West. I like the idea of giving him like this extra hit point. Uh, the trinket, I found it vastly underwhelming. I didn't like it really. Oh, plus 50 luck trinket. Damn, I should have seen that before. Well, that's a good trinket. Yeah, I think this, uh, Solomon is okay with that vest. For the others, I would assume someone with 7 HP could use an ocular, just because he can take a shot out of almost any gun. That's fine. Our sniper should get the holy amulet, although the aim, uh, the aim option is also good, but 50 extra luck allows him with now 180 luck to take a couple of um, golden bullets and ricochet shots and that's exactly what he's supposed to do and last but not least we're having another seven hit point um, fella which i think another ocular could help we're up to 70 uh, aim i like high aim values because it means we can kill the enemy faster did we get any cards Gosh, the inventory is slowing down again. I thought I had fixed it with the driver update. Apparently not. So here we go. We got an ace. Every hit you score cripples the target. I like it. That's beautiful. And we got another one, which is um, regenerate when not in direct sunlight and get a passive bonus. I think we're giving that to Solomon. Not only the defense bonus is great, I, I quite generally like it and we got a nine which is a hit point bonus well you know let me think about what we're doing here and so we could get someone a straight which is usually a pretty pretty decent option matter of fact we can give Solomon a straight Um, let's not give him. Um, let's not give him the shriek ability. We can give the shriek ability to anyone else. And Solomon instead takes. The passive ability. If you do a fatal shot. Um, uh, you can kill your killer to just come back to life i think that's helpful for him the street will give him one hit point per turn uh, bonus and he has a couple of abilities just the shadow self and uh, the, uh, the sensing plus the shadow cloak which will make him invisible so he pretty much can work with that another option that we could give him no i think we're fine that's okay That's pretty much okay. Let's give him this, uh, this, um, the street and yeah, that that's a decent uh, setup. I want him to survive first and foremost because that means we're not losing the scenario. Ooh, so many good things. Uh, let's start out with a fate trader, which should allow us to get rid of some of our trinkets and maybe make some money. 
We haven't checked all of uh, the uh, all of the things on the map so far. So I'd like to think no, I'd like to think that we're we can sell a couple of these items. For instance, the noise bombs. I really didn't like them all too much um well jokes on us this guy doesn't have any money Tch. okay Gunsmith, Arno, um, Arno Schoringer was intelligent but paranoid yet despite his quirks he impressed with his expertise we don't need guns we don't have money Solomon felt weak and insecure. His mind was constantly distracted. He was plagued by strange, uh, strange dream, uh, dreams, which inspired him to create a strange new blueprint. Once in the majestic home, the ruined mansion now retained only a shadow of its former glory. So we're giving the guy the uh, the secret words, and we could barter, but. I think we don't want to do that. Um, Solomon just gained a negative quirk, and I'm wondering what that might look like. If that's a mental wound. It's hard to focus. Minus four aim, minus four sight, minus two movement, and minus one max HP. Well, great. Vertigo uh, sounds lovely. So we got ourselves here to the railroad station. Solomon found an abandoned uh, telegraph station on the train yard. Official reports and private letters lay scattered everywhere. Solomon guessed uh, the wealth of information must uh, be hidden in those papers. Some might even hint at how the madness had spread. We begin our research. While Solomon read everything he could get his hands on, the persons guarded the telegraph station. The first round of documents uh, he read uh, were worthless, but uh, Solomon continued uh, determined not to miss any clue. He hoped his zeal uh, zealousness would not allow the Turner's men to get a drop on him. When we delve deeper inside of the research, there will be another combat scenario, and that's what we're going to do in the next uh, in the next session. Um, thank you so much for watching this uh, session of the Hard West. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below. That signals YouTube as always that uh, that you liked it. Even if you're just sharing your thoughts on how Solomon uh, should affect it. Uh, he seems to be in a pretty dire situation at the moment. All right, here we go. See you in the next session.